and women across the Arab world, the challenges faced are diverse, if not always as violent as in Egypt. In Saudi Arabia, Haifa al-Mansur has managed to become the country's first female film director. Her first feature film, Wajda, was shot entirely on location there. The movie is about a girl with a revolutionary desire to own a bicycle, something we in the West would take for granted, but not so in a country where women aren't allowed to ride bikes freely or drive cars. Katie Razzle now reports. It seemed only right that an interview with Saudi Arabia's first female film director began on two wheels. Yeah, the bicycle is a lot about freedom, of course, but it's also like about the thrill of being outside and, yeah, fresh air. <laughs> Before we met up, Haifa Al-Mansour hadn't ridden a bike for 10 years, and only then in secret in the courtyard of her home. Up until a few months ago, women were forbidden from cycling in Saudi Arabia. Haifa's film is about a little girl who desperately wants a green bike so she can beat her friend Abdullah in a race. <laughs> I wanted to make a film coming from a harsh place like Saudi, but not, um, but a film about human resilience. A person who's trying to find her voice and assert herself in a society that sometimes like, does not see her. The film lays bare the inequalities in Saudi society. This is the only country in the world that forbids women driving. A male driver is the only option if you want to move around. Schoolgirls must keep out of male view to protect their modesty. As a director, Haifa observes but doesn't politicize the lot of Saudi women. I'm not an activist, like, you know, I go and provoke people with a big sign, I'm making a film. No, for me, it's like, I'm a filmmaker. I want to make a film that is intimate and about the culture and tells a story. But what hope does she think there is for women's rights? I think it is very important to, to, be, to introduce change um, gradually and to introduce it uh, gently because people are very conservative and very resistant to change. But it might take forever. It is not taking forever. Just last year we had 30 women appointed for the Shura Council, for example, which is like the highest representation in the king, uh, political representation in the kingdom. And it is happening slowly but surely. And I think places like where else in the Middle East where things are happening radically, I think there is a lot of... It is sad and it is violent and it is not like being resolved right. Haifa's film is the first feature ever shot entirely in Saudi Arabia. She got it past the censors, though it will leave many viewers furious at the powerlessness foisted on women there. She didn't court confrontation, but traditionalists still complained. When they filmed in conservative areas, segregation rules meant Haifa had to stay hidden from public view. Mom, look at him to look at her, like as if he's looking at her. So I was like screaming at everybody, hey, do this, don't do that. At all, like, <laughs> why well, I had hold the feeling and make the frame wider. So my, her my voice was certainly heard. <laughs> Her film comes out next week across the UK, where we take our freedoms for granted. There are no cinemas in Saudi Arabia, so Haifa's countrymen and women will be watching it on DVD.